Uh, coach, just opening thoughts on the match. Well, I told my girls at the end, I was, you know, happy that we went out fighting. You know, we, you know, we came out in the first set. We weren't really, we let Mesa do the things that they do really well. You know, they ran the medals like crazy. They had eight kills, 13 swings, no errors. You know, we didn't do, we didn't really do much to stop them, slow them down. As we kind of started to make some adjustments and, and um, get a little better at what we're trying to do to defend them, we kind of caused some problems for them. But then, you know, we got to finish when we get those opportunities. And uh, Mesa's the one seed for a reason. They're a good team. They're really strong offensively. They scramble on defense. And um, but, you know, I told my team I love them. I always, I always do. Whether we win or we lose, and um, you know, they played hard. They played really hard. And um, that's all you can really ask for as a coach, especially this time of year. You know, we're. I've got a, a senior and a junior next to me, you know, who mean a lot to me and to this team. But we're a really young team, and um, you know, our goal every year is to compete for a conference championship and a, and a regional berth and a regional championship, and and we're still doing that. So I'm I'm pleased and I'm proud of them for that, and um, you know, I'll take a lot of positive things away from this year. A lot of really. Coach uh, Allen, you know, like the second here. Um, tell me, talk about the adjustments you did make uh, to uh, get you guys back in, and, and therefore you guys. Well, we moved our, uh, we kind of rotated our lineup a little bit to get some better blocking matchups. Um, you know, versus their versus their middle attackers. You know, and it really and, and it caused some serving matchups for us that we could take advantage to. And um, you know. I think we really worked hard to get our hands over the net. You know, I mean, they run such a fast tempo in the middle. If you're if you're late at all, you're going to get beat. And um, so I was pleased that we could do that on the fly and make those changes because we don't run that fast in our gym, so it's hard to simulate that. And uh, it took us a little while to kind of figure out that yeah, you really got to commit to that and get up and get your hands over. And uh, so once we started doing that, I felt like we, you know, well, you never stop those kids. Those two are really good, but uh, I felt like we could contain them a little bit more. And um, you know. In the third set especially, I felt like our serving was a lot more aggressive. We got them out of system a lot. We took their middles out of the picture. And, um, you know, it gave us just gave us opportunities at the end, which is what we asked for. You know, I told them going in between set two and three, I said, we've got to stay point for point for these guys, you know, late because what's happening is they're going two or three points at a time and we're they're building a gap and we can't overcome that gap. So I really it felt like we, we did some nice things making those adjustments and, um, you know, put ourselves in a position to compete at the end of the game. You know, that's all a coach can ask for from his team. Question for Shelby or Katie. Packed house, home crowd, playing against the home crowd. Did that affect you guys at all, or what was your feelings as players? Um, actually, that kind of gets us fired up. We like playing with full crowds no matter who they're for. You know, just allow Jim is awesome to play in, and it's a, it's a really cool environment and awesome to um, have the chance to play in front of a crowd like that. Watch the other three matches, plenty of upsets. Did that give you guys confidence going into your set, going against the number one? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're always just saying, you know, it's just a number of the ranking. We're here and we're here for a reason. Um, but, you know, we did kind of, we came out a little slow at the beginning, but I don't think it was lack of confidence. I just think that um, we just weren't really in tune with how we know that we could play at that time. But uh, we were totally confident coming into this match. Just a little bit of thoughts on the season, Shelby. Just how proud of you are of this group. Now, I mean, this is your fourth year in the regional tournament, so just a little bit on your career too. Being a senior in the last game, so just your your thoughts about that. Um, I couldn't have picked a better program to be a part of. <laughs> Katie, how proud of you uh, of the team and to be a teammate of Shelby? Well, being a teammate of Shelby is just awesome. Obviously, she's an awesome role model. She's always so positive and. You know, she left her mark on Angelo State. She made this program um, a regional program. You know, we made the regional finals the last three years. You know, we got a bird this year. And that has a lot to do with the leadership of Shelby. Um, we're going to miss her so much next year, but she laid the mark um, of the expectations um, that go along with Angelo State volleyball. But back to my answer. Sorry. Um, you know, I've loved every second being a Bell, and um, I'm so blessed to be a part of such a successful program and getting a chance to. Uh, make an impact on the program, and I hope that um, the girls just take it and run with it because they're going to be dang good next year. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you.